Sweden. A land of peace and stability boasts a vast land area of 528,000 square kilometers, which is particularly significant when compared to other European nations. With a population of only 11 million, Sweden enjoys a remarkable sense of tranquility across its expansive geography. To put this into perspective, consider countries like Spain, Thailand, or the US state of California, which have similar land areas but significantly larger populations. For instance, Thailand has 72 million inhabitants, Spain has 50 million, and California boasts 40 million residents. This low population density contributes to Sweden's serene atmosphere. In 2023, esteemed sources such as CNN and Forbes ranked Sweden as the sixth happiest country globally, reflecting the country's reputation for well-being and contentment. Furthermore, Sweden's remarkable track record of peace is noteworthy. The nation has remained uninvolved in conflicts since 1814, a testament to its commitment to stability and harmony. In essence, Sweden's ability to steer clear of global catastrophes like World War I and World War II has allowed it to quietly progress while other nations grappled with loss of life and financial turmoil due to warfare. Despite experiencing significant immigration, Sweden remains insulated from major upheavals. Its citizens enjoy a high standard of living and are known for their well-groomed appearance. However, the country does face challenges such as harsh climatic conditions and high tax rates, which can reach up to 60%. Furthermore, due to Sweden's pristine natural environment, residents can confidently drink water straight from the taps and utilize public fountains for drinking water. The water sources exhibit no traces of lime, ensuring high quality. Even amidst such a high standard of living, Swedes can trust tap water for consumption without hesitation. Additionally, Sweden boasts abundant growth of beneficial plants like blueberries and herbs used in teas, naturally available for collection. Locals often gather these natural resources to brew teas, protecting against cold weather. Moreover, Sweden prioritizes fundamental human rights, particularly in the treatment of children. Physical punishment of children is virtually non-existent in the country, reflecting its commitment to upholding human rights standards. Simultaneously, notable companies such as IKEA, Volvo, and Epidemic Sound have their origins in Sweden. IKEA, for instance, has maintained its headquarters and shares in Sweden since its inception. Despite Volvo being produced by a Chinese company for the past decade, the brand retains its association with Sweden, continuing to manufacture robust luxury vehicles reminiscent of its early days. This steadfast commitment to quality and brand identity has enabled these Swedish companies to thrive and expand their presence in the global market. Architecturally, Sweden offers clean and modern roads, along with buildings typically adorned in brick red or cream colors, often with high contrast accents. For those unfamiliar with European architecture, the distinct triangular roofed houses reminiscent of castles and the medieval ambience they evoke can be enchanting. In the capital city of Stockholm, there's a prevalent sense of business intensity, with residents calmly commuting to work or school. This blend of modernity with elements of historical charm adds to the allure of Sweden's urban landscape. In Sweden, there is a notable absence of life chaos and traffic congestion during the commute to work. Many individuals opt to walk or bike to their destinations, eliminating the need for a car. Additionally, electric scooters are a popular mode of transportation within the city. In Stockholm, one can observe a significant number of ultra-luxury cars, often of Italian and German makes such as Porsche, Mercedes, Ferrari, and Maserati. Notably, owning a high-quality car in Sweden is relatively straightforward, akin to other European countries, reflecting the accessibility and affordability of such vehicles in the region. For instance, in many Middle Eastern and South American countries, purchasing a car often entails paying substantial taxes to the state, sometimes equivalent to the car's price. However, in Sweden, one can acquire a second-hand, low-mileage Volvo, a popular choice for as little as $1,000 to $15,000. Swedes typically favor large vehicles with wagon-style trunks, as these offer ample space to accommodate their children, camping gear, and other belongings. This preference is particularly relevant in a country abundant with forests, lakes, and pristine natural areas, where individuals frequently engage in outdoor activities and require sufficient cargo space for their adventures.
In Sweden, families often spend their weekends with their children in these spacious cars, enjoying barbecues or embarking on hiking adventures. Sweden's love of balance extends beyond the individual and into the national character. A strong emphasis is placed on quality time and togetherness. Every Friday night transforms into Fredagsmais. Cozy Friday, a cherished tradition. Families gather to relax and connect, enjoying movies, laughter, and delicious snacks. Board games come alive, fostering a sense of shared joy and connection. Fredagsmais is more than just relaxation. It exemplifies the importance Swedes place on creating warm and social spaces for their loved ones. Additionally, it's worth noting that Sweden boasts over 220,000 islands, accessible via ferries and boat tours from Stockholm. While many of these islands remain uninhabited, offering a serene escape from urban life, even the journey itself, with views of Stockholm from the sea, provides a sense of tranquility. However, for individuals relocating from lively entertainment-loving countries like Italy, Germany, or Ukraine, the daily routine in Stockholm may initially seem dull by comparison. Life in Sweden is centered around a balance of work and tranquility. For individuals coming from Middle Eastern or African countries, Sweden may seem like heaven due to its exceptional quality of life. The contrast in living standards and safety becomes evident when comparing Sweden to these regions. Crime rates are significantly lower in Sweden, offering a sense of security that is often lacking in African and Middle Eastern countries. People, including women, can comfortably walk the streets at night with a probability of harassment being less than 1%. This level of safety and peace contributes to the overall appreciation for the quality of life in Sweden. In other words, Sweden stands out as an exceptionally safe country with low crime rates compared to global averages. Recent research places Sweden at 60th in terms of countries with the highest crime rates. It's noteworthy that the majority of crimes in Sweden are committed by immigrants rather than locals. This trend is partly attributed to the high tax burden that can be challenging for outsiders to bear. For instance, freelancers relocating to Sweden may face a substantial tax bracket of 50% for income deposited into their local bank accounts, underscoring the fiscal challenges associated with living in the country. In other words, Sweden imposes tax rates of up to 50% on various forms of freelance work, which can be burdensome for individuals relocating from other countries. These high tax rates may prove to be quite challenging and frustrating for newcomers trying to establish themselves in Sweden. Despite the economic challenges, immigrants often hold a deep affection for Sweden. Immigrants granted residence permits in Sweden often come from more elite segments compared to places like London. Those residing in Sweden understand this sentiment well, as immigrants in the country tend to be smarter, more educated, calm, and hardworking compared to counterparts in cities like London and New York. Immigrants in Sweden exhibit a remarkable ability to adapt, quickly learning Swedish to attain permanent residency and achieving high scores in language exams. Moreover, immigrants who move to Sweden with their families seamlessly integrate into the country's lifestyle and culture, experiencing minimal adverse effects from the adaptation process. This speaks volumes about the inclusive and welcoming nature of Swedish society towards immigrants. Africans in particular demonstrate remarkable success in adapting to life in Sweden, readily embracing the country's rules and customs. Additionally, there's a sizable population of Syrian, Iranian, and Arab immigrants in the country, alongside some blonde, blue-eyed individuals who have migrated from Russia and Ukraine. When speaking to immigrants, a common sentiment emerges. They unanimously regard Sweden as the best country in the world. However, for those unable to sustain themselves in expensive cities like Stockholm, many opt for a more rural lifestyle in Sweden. One such example is Skansen, located south of Stockholm, a charming village town opening to the Baltic Sea. These rural areas offer immigrants an alternative, perhaps more affordable yet equally enchanting way of life in Sweden. This place also serves as an open-air museum, offering a glimpse into Sweden's way of life centuries ago. If you're seeking immersion in lush nature, complete with ducks, streams, and the melodic sounds of birds and insects, heading south rather than north is advisable. While the northern regions of Sweden can experience harsh weather conditions, the southern areas boast enchanting fairy tale villages where one can truly connect with nature. In these regions, it's common to encounter more residents over the age of 50, as younger individuals 
typically the children of these families, often relocate to Stockholm to pursue their career goals. Sweden's distinctive feature, known as Allemansrätten, or the freedom to roam, sets it apart from other countries. This unique concept grants individuals the freedom to explore the most undeveloped land in the country. This includes forests, meadows, and even some private property, as long as it is done responsibly and with respect for the environment and property owners. Imagine hiking through ancient woodlands, camping by a serene lake, or kayaking among a network of islands, all of which are perfectly acceptable activities under the principles of Allemansretten. In addition to these aspects, it's widely acknowledged that Swedish individuals are among the most aesthetically pleasing in the world. While beauty is subjective when comparing across European countries, Swedes stand out for their striking looks. With their blonde hair, tall stature, and impeccable sense of style, it's not uncommon to see Swedish men resembling movie stars as they stroll through streets or parks. The Swedish populace, both young and old, exudes a level of grooming and sophistication that is unparalleled in many other countries. While Swedish men may not prioritize entertainment as much, they are known for their inclination toward leading serious and purposeful lives. Indeed, Swedish individuals typically prioritize long-term relationships and seek partners with whom they can build a serious and committed bond. However, for women in Sweden, this may present its own challenges, as Swedish women are equally as beautiful as men, making it intimidating for immigrants to feel accepted. Swedish women, known for their cultured and educated demeanor, also possess striking physical attributes. They maintain well-built body shapes through regular sports activities and often boast natural ash blonde hair and blue eyes, contributing to their allure and adding to the cultural landscape of Sweden. It's also worth noting that Tinder is widely utilized in Sweden as a means of socializing and dating. For those unfamiliar, Tinder operates by swiping right on individuals you're interested in, and if they reciprocate, a match is made, facilitating potential meetings. Many immigrants in Sweden turn to apps like Tinder to flirt and connect, as the serious demeanor often observed in daily Swedish life may make it challenging to meet people in person without the risk of rejection. However, if dating apps like Tinder aren't your preference, Sweden also sees considerable interest in activities such as salsa courses, providing alternative avenues for socializing and meeting new people while enjoying the country's natural beauty. However, Swedish life extends beyond mere fairness and opportunity. It revolves around the concept of lagom, a philosophy that emphasizes balance and moderation. Lagom translates roughly to not too much, not too little, but just right. This philosophy permeates Swedish culture, encouraging a measured approach to life. Swedes avoid extremes, focusing on finding a healthy balance between work and leisure, ambition and modesty, and individual pursuits and the importance of the collective good. One of the most captivating features of Stockholm is its picturesque setting, overlooking the sea and its proximity to the Baltic Sea. As the capital of Sweden, Stockholm sits near the capitals of Finland and Estonia, namely Helsinki and Tallinn, with the Baltic Sea serving as a connecting waterway between these three beautiful cities. Traveling by sea between these capitals offers an opportunity to experience the charm and similarities in life and climate across these countries. Regardless of which destination you choose, you'll find a shared abundance of fresh air, as all three countries boast a notably high oxygen ratio in the air, this is attributed to their low population densities, stunning architecture, and the presence of educated and attractive populations. In Sweden, specifically, the high oxygen ratio is attributed to the vast forest cover, with forests accounting for 69% of the land area. These forests, rich in pine trees and diverse plant life, ensure that you can always breathe in crisp, fresh oxygen into your lungs. It's often mentioned that only 3% of Sweden's land area is comprised of cities. Even within urban areas, it's not solely about concrete structures. For instance, in Stockholm's city layout, many buildings are surrounded by trees and numerous parks dot the landscape. Swedes have a penchant for living in harmony with nature, preferring to coexist with trees, flowers, and insects. Even when constructing buildings, they strive to preserve natural habitats. This symbiotic relationship with nature is deeply ingrained in their culture. In fact, Sweden's national anthem pays homage to nature, with lines such as, 
My beautiful country, I greet our sky, our sun, and our green lands, reflecting their reverence for the natural world. While highlighting the beautiful aspects of Sweden, it's important to acknowledge the negative aspects as well to avoid presenting a biased portrayal. Despite achieving a high quality of life, socializing at cafes in Sweden can be costly, with prices ranging from $5 to $6 for tea or coffee and up to $25 for a portion of pasta. Particularly after the pandemic and the Russia-Ukraine conflict, there has been a notable increase in the prices of cereals and coffee imports, resulting in inflation rates of around 10%. Consequently, eating out at restaurants or enjoying coffee at cafes has become expensive, especially for newcomers from other countries. This serves as a reminder that while Sweden offers many positive attributes, there are also economic challenges to consider. However, some individuals view this situation from a different perspective. If you earn Swedish krona in Sweden, it's considered normal to spend in krona and adjust your spending habits accordingly. However, if you earn Swedish krona but think in terms of less valuable currencies when spending, the cost of living may seem excessively expensive. Moreover, it's a fact that Sweden's economy is often considered one of the weakest among European Union countries. While this may come as a surprise, various research rankings consistently place Sweden towards the bottom of statistical rankings among EU nations. This serves as a reminder that economic considerations and perspectives can vary depending on individual circumstances and perspectives. Indeed, while Sweden maintains a stable economy, the cost of living can be exceptionally high. For instance, electricity prices in the country have surged fivefold from last year to the present. Additionally, there's been a 9% inflation rate in food prices, significantly impacting households. Approximately 80% of the population is notably affected by the steep price increases across various aspects of daily life over the past year. This situation presents challenges for immigrants and residents alike, highlighting the economic strains faced by individuals living in Sweden. Life in Sweden offers a unique blend of tranquility, natural beauty, and cultural richness. From its pristine landscapes and commitment to environmental sustainability, to its high standard of living, an emphasis on human rights, Sweden stands out as a desirable place to live. Despite economic challenges and high living costs, immigrants find themselves drawn to Sweden's inclusive society and opportunities for personal and professional growth. If you're intrigued by what you've learned about life in Sweden, I encourage you to delve deeper into this fascinating country. Whether it's exploring its diverse landscapes, understanding its rich history and culture, or learning more about its social policies, there's always more to discover. Feel free to ask questions or share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for joining us on this journey through life in Sweden. If you enjoyed this content and want to stay updated on more informative and engaging videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, take care and happy exploring.